Let's get to it. All right, YouTube, what is going on? Mesa back at it with some Destiny, and it is Zer's day, and he's located all by the Vanguard, over by the Vanguard. We haven't seen him here in a while. He's got nothing really that good, well, nothing new. Um, so he's got an amazing piece for the Warlock Sunsinger, if you don't have it, and he's got my favorite weapon for PvP, so let's run through this real quick. Okay, Peregrine Greaves, am I saying that right? Intellect 152, got carry more ammo for heavy weapons, and shoulder charge deals bonus damage while activated in air. Never use this thing, I wouldn't waste your uh, strange coins. Crest of Alpalupe for the Hunters, great for Trials of Osiris, because you revive teammates faster, and you spawn more orbs, carry more ammo for special weapons, carry more ammo for hand cannons. Uh, you might want to pick this up for Trials. I don't really use it, I use my uh, Mask of the Third Man, or my Active Face Symbiote. Okay, Fart of Praxic Fire. This is basically the only exotic I use for my Warlock, okay? Uh, Sunsinger. Either in PvE or PvP for that matter. I know I'm stupid. I know there's better exotics out there for Sunsingers in uh, the Crucible. Blade. So, uh, further decreases all ability cooldowns while Radiance is active. So, basically, your grenades and also your melee is going to keep recharging over and over when you activate Radiance. Discipline of 152. Carry more ammo for fusion rifles and also for heavy weapons. Then, the Beloved Red Death. My favorite freaking gun for a PvP. So you got unflinching, which I think comes in very, very handy. Uh, you've got red death, which means each time you get a kill, it's actually going to speed up your reload and also heal you. So very, very good for bad situations in PVE. But a lot of people use this in Protozen uh, hard mode, where you can't, uh, where your health is not regenerating and there's no chalice. Then in the middle, you got snapshots. So you can aim real fast, high caliber rounds. Or you've got single point slaying. I always go at high caliber rounds so you can actually stagger your targets, especially in PvP. If you get into a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, it might might just throw them off. And single point slaying, I know you move quick while aiming. I think that throws my strafing off a little bit. So definitely pick this up. I have two of them fully leveled up. Absolutely love it. He's got the exotic, uh, let's see, helmet engram. So pick that up if you need it. I don't need him. I got them all already. Uh, let's see, fusion rifle telemetry, machine gun telemetry. Rocket launcher telemetry and your usual heavy ammo synth and he's got modes of light so pretty much that's it guys Let me know uh, in the comment section what you guys are buying or if you're not buying anything or are the usual Are you the usual just disappointed? No, this is not all the strange coins. I have guys. I got a buttload in my uh Vault. Okay, so yeah, let me know in the comment section, guys. What are you guys are buying? Are you guys pretty pissed off? Because we have not seen really anything. He really hasn't sold much um, House of Wolf stuffs at all. Hopefully, he'll change up on the Taken King comes out. And I really hope Taken King we get a whole disc's worth of exotics. So I still think best exotics in the game are the ones that shipped with the game. So that's it for me, guys. So drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at Mesa Sean. Make sure make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.